Hello, and welcome to this, my eighth log. You see, I'm going to run out of fingers pretty soon, so I'm going to have to use my toes, and that's going to be awkward for everyone involved. Um, I'm sitting here in the beginnings of writing exam, um, and I'm kind of stressed out, so I'm just going to do this video kind of quick, and hopefully have the, uh, the resources to get it out tomorrow. Um, We'll see. So stressed. Also, I'm this over here. Paid no mind. That is just um, result of being stressed. Exam. My excuse. Don't look at it. Also, trying to play around with the lighting a little bit because um, I don't know. It's <laughs> this place is not great for uh, for lighting. Um, and really. I just wanted to show my face today because I want to talk about something that is probably on a lot of people's minds, um, now a lot of trans people's minds, and I guess other people's minds, I'll come to that. Um, and something that I was recently interviewed about, actually. So this is why I wanted to talk about this um, today. So I participated in an interview um, that took place in front of a mirror um, in my home. Well, actually, it was at my parents' home. Um, but yeah, um, I was standing in front of a mirror, and I had to describe how I looked in my own words, um, my own subjective um, evaluation of my looks. And I thought that I would be able to, you know, find a lot of good things. But I feel like most of it came out as as things I wanted to change, like, um, like it, it came out very negative and really made me think about how much of a negative body image I and, and a lot of other trans people have. Um, So basically, in the, in the interview, you know, we started from the top, and I could comment about my hair being long and kind of nice, but also frizzy and thinning at the top, and, you know, completely unruly and weird. We could go down and we could say, you have, I have a large forehead. I have um, a very prominent brow bone. And I have thick eyebrows, that's from my mother's side of the family. Um, the prominent problem kind of give me deeper set eyes. Um, I have a way too big nose, with a way too broad um, nose bridge. Uh, and, you know, way too big. Especially, you know, in the profile view. Um, I have a way too broad jaw that sticks out too much. My lips are not uh, as full as they should be, and you know the shape of my face is just—it's just wrong. Um, so that was a good start. Uh, then you know we came down to my my two broad shoulders, um, two still too long arms and too big hands, um, my too wide chest, a rib cage, and two small breasts, my too thick waist, and my too uh, narrow hips, my long legs, which is like the one super positive thing about me, and my way too big feet, my non-existent butt, um, it's just, it's just negative upon negative. Oh, my eyes. I, I like my eyes. So that's <laughs> that's something. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd I thought I'd come on um, on camera here and just this is me without any makeup or anything. Just completely au natural um, today. Which is fine because, you know, I'm in the middle of exam and I didn't really want to 
uh, tore myself up. I'm not planning on going out. I have everything I need for the next like four days. So, um, but it's still kind of um, weird recording video that I know will be going out on YouTube and possibly be seen by tens of people. <sighs> but I felt like it was important to talk about the fact that I have a very negative body image. And here's the thing. When I post pictures on Facebook, um, or other people post pictures of me, I hate it. I, I hate the way I look in pictures. Um, I just, I cannot, I cannot stand looking at myself for too long because I start noticing all these little things that just upset me. Uh, because I feel like other people are going to notice them too. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. The thing is, though, people feel this way whether they are trans or not. Um, everyone has these insecurities about their own bodies, and a lot of people don't like themselves in photographs because they don't feel like uh, that's the way they're <laughs> they want to look. Um, I think we as trans people have it a little bit harder, you know, because we know that there's um, we're supposed to be another way and it um, it hurts to be reminded that we don't look the way that we feel like we should look and in fact sometimes when people compliment my looks in the, um, in photographs on real life you know I feel kind of like they just they want something they want a compliment in return and they are just trying to make me feel better about myself they don't really think I look good they just leading me on. Like for example if I'm out in town and a guy tells me that he thinks I look good, I need to start doubting his motives. Like, um, does he, is he trying to compliment me because he knows, you know, I'm, I'm trans and he gets off on that or whatever, or is he just trying to take advantage of me? Does he, I mean, I never go immediately to the thought that he genuinely thinks that I am good-looking. Um, my mind always goes through that process of trying to figure out why he would say such a thing when I know that it's not true. Um, yeah. um, one thing that has helped me in coping with this is talking to other non-trans people and just hearing about their insecurities and realizing that no one no anywhere is happy with um, their own body. They always feel like they should look more beautiful, more muscular, more sexy, more, you know, I've talked to friends who point out things that they're insecure about. For example, my one of my friends is very insecure about her lips and I just I cannot I cannot see anything wrong with her lips. Um and honestly I I think it's the same way for us that, you know, we're so used to self scrutiny and we are so aware of the way we look and we think when we go out that everyone is going to notice um, these things that we hate about ourselves. And the fact of the matter is if you just go out walking in town, you know, try to pay attention to how much you pay attention to how other people look. Um, if you walk past someone, I'm sure you couldn't describe them just five seconds after unless they were, you know, really spectacular. Um, how often do you look at people's faces? Um, how often do you, you know, really study people without it being creepy? You don't. And trust me, other people 
don't give a shit how you look either, unless you look completely ridiculous. Like, if you walk around without clothes on, or with, like, all feathers, or something, you know. Then I know this. And in that case, you know, you probably wanted to be noticed. <sighs> so, you know, that interview was, was very weird, because the longer I stood in front of the mirror, the worse I felt about myself. And it's the same in in every day, you know. Um, the tables kind of turned. Back before I started transition, when I was living as, as a guy, um, whenever I would walk past a window or a mirror and see my own reflection and see, you know, that the hint of girl um, in my face, it would make me really, really happy. But now that I'm living full time as a girl, um, looking at a mirror and seeing just that very salient reminder of a guy in the mirror, um, it brings me down. And it sucks. However, that's not to say I'm not happy. I mean, I'm way happier now than I was before, but um, just some things get me down more now because they they matter more now, obviously, than they did before. I mean, before I transitioned, I couldn't care less if I looked like a guy because I was a guy. I was living as a guy. Now, I don't really want to be reminded. And this kind of brings me to another discussion I wanted to have, and I'm sure I'll have this discussion much later too, um, about passing, the concept of passing. Um, basically, for those of you who don't know, for whatever reason, it means to be seen as a member of the gender that you identify as. Um, to be seen as a cisgender person, basically. Like, if if I were to pass, um, people would just see me as another woman. And while that is something that I want, I desperately want it. Um, transition for me is not about passing. Um, it is about feeling good about myself and you know being able to to look myself in the mirror and and be happy with what I see and you know go to bed and think that I've lived a genuine day for me transition is about becoming me the real me being a genuine person um, but of course, part of that is, as I mentioned, being able to look yourself in the mirror and not hating what you see. So I see a lot of places um, written that it, it's not about passing, it never was, and that is true, but <laughs> feeling like you're not sticking out like a sore thumb in public um, is very nice. And I must admit, on the days when I feel the best about my looks um, are the days that I have the most confidence. And if ever I have to go out and I don't feel confident about my looks, you know, I won't act confident. And it'll suck. So anyway, here I am. I'm four months on full HRT. Um, and actually, it's just now that the changes to one's face and body are supposed to start, you know, really becoming noticeable. So, I mean, I have so much to look forward to. Um, hormones have helped me clear my mind and get more confident and um, just, you know, improve my mental health immensely. Um, but they haven't done much for the looks yet, I feel. But when looking at pictures from 
you know, half a year ago. I changed my profile picture on Facebook just yesterday, and I have to say it was like a major improvement. So I'm holding out hope that hormones will help improve my looks further to the point where I don't feel like um, I look like a guy so much of the time. You know, if I could just get to the point where I look in the mirror and sometimes I'll see a hint of the guy in there, I don't think it'll devastate me as much as when I have to stand before the mirror for minutes uh, in order to just convince myself that I don't look like a guy even when I'm wearing makeup and girls clothes, you know. Sometimes, honestly, even though I do that, I feel like I look like a guy in drag. And that's not what I want. So, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I need to get back to my... Next time writing, oh my god, it's so boring. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of you out there are feeling bad about the way you look and it's going to get you down and it's going to get you down a lot and it's going to keep getting you down for a long, long time. Um, and I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook like people are annoyed when people compliment them because they don't feel the same way like I also said. Um, and I have a friend who's very bad at accepting compliments. Uh, like her boyfriend will call her beautiful and you know she'll not believe him. and. I just want to say, you have to start believing people when they say that you are beautiful, good-looking, handsome, whatever um, positive terms they use about you, because in real life, you know, if you care about passing, it doesn't matter what you think you look like, it doesn't matter how you perceive yourself, what matters is how others perceive you, and for that reason, if you care about passing, you should listen to other people. Um, it just makes logical sense, right? But also, if you start believing that you are beautiful, um, you'll get more confidence and you'll start acting like a person who believes they are beautiful and people will respond to that. And also remember that transition is about peace of mind and becoming the person that you are meant to be. Um, stop obsessing about passing and start focusing on doing things that makes you happy and makes you feel more like a complete person. I know it's hard. I mean, believe me, I know it's hard. Um, but it's it's doable. I think. I hope. Cross my fingers. <laughs> so, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. If you want to subscribe, as you should click the magic lamp. Actually, you should only have to click the magic lamp once in your lifetime of watching this. So, whatever. If you want to visit my uh, sister channel. The Let's Play thing, which is hopefully going to be started next week once I'm done with the exam, you can click my absurdly large forehead. Um, and yeah, um, from the bottom of my heart, I love you. I love all of you. Uh, and I think you're all beautiful. And you have to believe me. Because I know best, apparently. Um, I hope you're having a good day, and I hope this video might have put you in a better mood, um, and given you, um, may have given you something to think about. You can write down in the comments if you feel like commenting, or you can just 
not. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for today. I'll see you next week, and I have to think about something to talk about next week. Oh dear, I think I'm running out of subjects. <laughs> anyway, goodbye, and you know, take care of yourself. Bye.